Hey ladies and gents, Tony in the studio today with a quick tip for you on curves adjustment layers. I use them all the time, but if you don't change your layer blending mode, you can find your images oversaturated. So let's jump into the computer and I'll show you how to resolve that. As you can see, there's a lot of wood in this image, which is pretty common in today's residential structures. We're gonna have a lot of more raw materials, woods and metals and stones and things like that. But the wood in particular is something that you gotta be careful of oversaturating when you add curves adjustment layers. Um, so first thing I do before I even get to curves is I'll get my hue and saturation adjusted the way that I want. And you'll see in this image here, there's a lot of reds up in these wood tones, which actually should not be there. So I've added a hue saturation adjustment, which just pulls that out a little bit. I'll toggle it on and off a few times so you can see it just kind of dumbs it down a little bit. It should not be that saturated. It also does some stuff on the be uh, bar and the door here, which I'm okay with. I actually think this is closer to how it actually looked. The last thing I do prior to sharpening is going to be a, a final contrast to the image. And I do that through the use of curves. So I'll come down here and I will use a curves adjustment layer. And then rather than the default preset, I just go down to linear contrast and boom, that gives me the uh, contrast that I want. So I'll let me toggle that on and off and you can see the contrast bump. And that's what I'm looking for. I just, I think it helps between this and the sharpening that I do on my images. I think this really helps add the right amount of contrast to an image. So it's, it's one of my finishing moves. Uh, if you have my tutorial over at Pro EDU, you'll see this uh, done in just about all the images that we do there. The problem with this is that it adds back in all of that red that I just took out and I don't want it to do that. So very simple fix, layer blending mode from normal down to luminosity. And in the later versions of Photoshop, you'll see as you roll over each of these uh, layer blending modes, you'll see what the resulting effect is going to be. And as we get down here to luminosity, you can see most of that saturation comes back out. So toggling on and off, that's before the curves, that's after the curves. All it did was give us the contrast pop without the additional saturation. All right, so hopefully that helps some of you out. We could dive a lot deeper into this, curves adjustment layers and layer blending modes, but for today, that's just the tip. Just the tip, just for a second, just to see how it feels. So if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, double tap that dislike button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out the podcast, The Pixel Punishers, wherever you listen to podcasts for photo-related talk and everything else that we do. And if you feel so inclined, follow me on Instagram. Uh, questions, leave them below. And uh, that's it. I'm out. Thanks for watching.